So Amazon Prime finally released a full trailer for their upcoming Rings of Power show, which looks more and more like a Game of Thrones knockoff every time I I see something for this show, which I don't think is what hardcore Lord of the Rings fans are looking for. But regardless, that seems to be the road that Amazon Prime is going with this series. It took them a long time to put this out, by the way, a long time. And I will say this, it's much better than the original trailer that they put out, which literally was just there to hype up the fact that they're going to make the show more diverse. That's literally all of the talking points that they made for that teaser. That's it. And if you didn't like it, you were a piece of garbage. It was the wrong way to go about things. And they, I think they regret it because it really just put a bad taste in fans' mouths and it hasn't gone away. The trailer, if you take a look at it, is already at 18K downvotes compared to 17K likes. Now, that's much better than last time. That trailer, the original trailer, really got hit hard. But even though I I think this trailer was better, but keep in mind, like, I'm not a hardcore Tolkien fan. I've never read the books. I like the movies. I've seen and own all six of the Peter Jackson movies. I think they're great. I think they're awesome. But I'm not like a super hardcore Lord of the Rings guy. I just like the movies. I think the movies are great. I would definitely put them up there like in, you know, my top 20 movies of all time as one collection because you really need to watch them all. Well, at least the original trilogy. The Hobbits, uh, those really should have been two movies, but that's a that's a different discussion. But you can see here, there's already there's already some resentment, even with this trailer, which I think was much better. This is a much better trailer, at least in my opinion. And I know this, that's going to cause some disagreements with people. I don't think this is going to be a good show, by the way. I think this show is going to be awful. I think it's going to be a really bad show. But the production values do look good. I think the production is there. Uh, the, some of the uh, visuals are really good. It's got great cinematography. But I don't have any faith in this show being good. I really don't. And I'm not the only one that feels that way. I mean, you could see it. 19,000 people already downvoting the show. 17,000 people liking the show. So there seems to be more of a, a middle ground this time. But they did so much damage with that original trailer and the way they marketed that trailer that this show might already kind of be screwed. I'm going to remind you the way things were done before. You had that uh, Lord of the Rings fan site that Amazon Prime was working with. So in some ways condoning what they did, calling them racist and all kinds of stuff. They really went hard on fans. All because, you know, people had criticisms of the show and the way it handled lore. Very hardcore fan base here. And I really don't think people's criticism should just be addressed, like just pushed off as racist backlash because it's not. But that's the way they want to go about it. Instead of maybe making a case for it, they decide to just go ahead and trash critics. Uh, the craziest one was Den of Geek when they put out their shill article and compared Lord of the Rings critics to mass murders. <laughs> it was a real, it was a real thing. I believe the article's name is. Uh, Lord of the Rings and why fandoms need to address change. I'm pretty sure was the name of that article. If you want to look it up and give it a read yourself, uh, this was something that was really done. So this was a pretty crazy time when this came out. Like this was 
the hottest topic. And people were pissed because you have people that have been like, there's like scholars that study this guy's shit and you mess with them and they don't really like it. Like this is a, a very, very hardcore fan base and they didn't really appreciate being called garbage and racist and istophobes. Of course, this has led to all kinds of stuff. Salon, an aw- an awful website that's defend the defended child enthusiasts in the past, uh, came out. This is, of course, about, this isn't about Lord of the Rings. I, I think they do mention it in here a little bit, but you've had, you've had a lot of these websites really coming out and attacking fans lately. And a lot of this, I do believe, started with that trailer that came out in March and why they've been ramping this shit up. They have to protect their corporate overlords. Surely they do. But right now, Rings of Power is trending on Twitter, and the responses that I've seen are it seem to be about half and half. How that will change as time goes on, I don't know. But you clearly, at this point, still have a middle ground split, but the ratio is keeping up with the likes. Like the dislikes and like ratio is keeping up as they as the trailer grows in views. Now at 256,000. But if you read through the comments and take a look at what they have to say, like people are, are, are being skeptical about the story. Like this one. I prefer this to the previous trailers. The, music's, the music and visuals are clearly amazing. Hopefully the plot will be too. No doubt the production and the music, Howard Shore, for the win are going to be amazing, but I seriously hope they do a good job with the plot. I can't wait to see this, but I'm fearful of the result. And this is kind of this is kind of the sentiment that I've been reading, like right here. Their initial marketing of this series was pretty awful. The first trailer they released was somewhat underwhelming, but this had actually got me pretty hyped to watch this looking forward to watching it and hopefully not being disappointed and there were some comments in here about how the lore was treated particularly with the fact that hobbits are in it so apparently unless this person is wrong there were no hobbits during this time and they felt the need to put hobbits in it of course they did they put hobbits in it because of the movies but uh, this is the kind of shit that people are talking about. These people that are hardcore fans and the fact that the lore isn't being respected. And this is a big deal to people, and I don't think that they should just be brushed off. How will they handle the criticism this time? That's going to be the question. Are they going to just let the show speak for itself, or are they going to attack critics again? That'll be the true question that I have. We shall see. But as for now, it seems that there's still a fracture in the fandom. I mean, this right here proves that it's not going away. The The backlash is not going away. It'll be interesting to see where this ratio is and say, like, you know, two days. Like, where is it at? Do the likes overtake the dislikes? It'll be interesting to see what happens. But anyway... Let me know what you think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here i do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me also it's a good place to catch all of my content you don't have to worry about notifications like youtube they'll definitely work over here so come check out my locals also if you want to help support the channel check out my teespring store there's a link in the description you can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller 
and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.